Hello and welcome to Gamer at Arms. My name is Blake and today I am playing the Yog. So I'm gonna pick the yellow and the red. And then I am going to just jump right into it. The Yog will be here in six weeks. No one expects it, not a one of us. We just keep living on our lives week by week, unaware. If you've never seen anyone play the Yog or if you don't know what it is, I'm not going to spoil it. I'm just going to let this very simplistic art style and gameplay t speak for itself. So right now I am the uh, girl, so I have to pick a place to go. And I'm going to go to the Alchemy Tower, and I'm going to brew a potion. You spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. You gain two magic and one mind. One day, you hear one of the alch alchemists shout, Eureka! When you look over to see what he's done, you spot a small, previously dead ferret come to life. I figured out the antidote to death, the alchemist exclaims. The undead ferret lays out a lets out a horrific noise and lumbers out slowly. Uh, zombie apocalypse, or prevent- I'm gonna prevent it. You smack the ferret off the counter and stomp it until it stops twitching. Ooh. The alchemist is horrified. You gain one physique. So now, I can't go to the alchemy tower because I already sent someone there, so I'm going to go to the palace. I'm gonna do administrative work. You spend the week doing paperwork for the palace. You are you're paid wealth, and, two wealth, and gain one mind. One day, the court jester approaches you. Would you like to learn to juggle? He asks excitedly. I'll teach you everything I know for a small sum. Sure, why not? You spend the day with the jester practicing your juggling technique. You improve dramatically. I gain two finesse, and you gain another two finesse. You happily pay the jester for his services. I lose one wealth, but hey. So each interaction is one week long, so that's what you do the whole week sort of thing. They say the last time it came, the Yogg devoured houses whole, stole lives, tore families and family members apart, but that was so very long ago. So now, I'm going to go back to the Alchemy Tower to brew another potion. I experiment with different potion brews, two magic, one mind. One day, you hear cries for help coming from the next room. Running over to investigate, you see that the alchemists there have accidentally created an ooze monster. How do you dispatch the ooze? I punch it into submission. You pummel the ooze until nothing but a puddle remains. Two more physique. The acid from the ooze sears your skin. Ow. The alchemists apply cream that heals the burn but your hand just doesn't feel the same. Oops. Um, where to go to with him? We'll go back to the palace. We'll attend a ball. You spend the week attend attending fancy gatherings. You gain two charm and one finesse. One day you accidentally bump into the duke. Watch where you're going, filthy peasant. Shirk. Shoves you out of the way uh, with his hand and continues walking. Passive aggressive or active aggression? Pretty sure hitting the Duke is not the best way to go. Passive aggressive. That outfit looks really comfortable. He looks mildly insulted. Sick burn, dude. Sick burn. You gain one charm. It was on us in a heartbeat, or so the stories go. The earth shook and the air went still. So we'll go back to you. I continue playing with brews. One day an artificer star stops by for a visit. She is adorned with magical gadgets and gizmos and is followed everywhere by her clockwork spider. The alchemists of the tower all go out of their way to impress the artificer, offering her an array of potions and elixirs. 
As she's leaving, she adorns the most charming of the alchemists with a special trinket. The fact that she didn't choose you was a very humbling experience. You gain one charm. What a bitch! Let's see, let's go to the forest and chop wood. Chop down trees. Two physique, one wealth. During your day, a storm of rats. First you jump backwards in shock, but then you start to hear them conversing with one another. They call you over. Excuse me, sir. One of them says in a high-pitched voice. Well, it wasn't very high-pitched, but... Do you think you might be able to help us with something? You say we're trying to elect a new leader, but it seems our votes are completely tied. Inigo. We're trying to decide between Speedpaw, the Vengeful, and Blighttooth, the Wise, says the rat. <sighs> Seedpaw steps forward. Oh, Seedpaw. Whoops. <laughs> if you vote for me, the rats will have a powerful leader, one who isn't afraid to take the, take the, our fight to the enemy. Blighttooth steps up. If you vote for me, good sir, I will lead these rats into an age of enlightenment. Which rat do you choose? I'm gonna go with an enlightenment. Seedpaw bows his head and walks back into the mass of rats. Climbs up my shoulder and whispers ancient secrets into your ear as thanks. Gain one mind, one magic. And then the world was howling fury, chaos, screaming. The sound of all we knew pull it, pulled in half. So now I'm on week four. Let's see. Let's keep her at the alchemy tower for another potion. Two magic, one mind. One day, a swarm of rats infests the building. They're biting everything in their way. Everyone else in the building flees immediately. What do you do? Mm. Blast them with magic. You wave your hands and produce volleys of fire to incinerate, shooting all down those rat shooting all down those rats really improves your aim. You gain two finesse. Really hope that wasn't uh, the other rat people. Uh, let's go back here and do more administrative work. I gain two wealth in one mind. One day you decide to lean up against a wall to take a break. It rotates as you apply pressure and you stumble down a set of stairs. You enter a large dusty room filled with something. Oh, I found the fa the king's famous wine cellar. Um, I'm going to keep quiet about what I saw. Just knowing you have a secret to hide is so exciting. Gain one charm and one mind. When it arrives this time, how will we fare? Will we once more rebuild? Move on. Be strong, or have we forgotten? Stay at the tower. Two magic, one mind. One day while the ta while in the tower, one of the alchemists asks you to watch his potion while he's out. Soon after he leaves, the po potion begins bubbling out of control. If you don't do something soon, it'll explode! Um... Throw it out the window. Toss the potion out the window and watch as the contents empty into the town's water supply. You take off early for the day, hoping nobody finds out. Whoops. Let's go back to the forest. Chop more wood. Two physique and one wealth. One day you hear hundreds of footsteps rumbling through the forest in your direction. It's an orc raiding party. Uh hide? Nice hiding. One finesse. The Yogg. It's almost here. Almost. Almost. Alchemy Tower. Brew. Keep brewing your mad scientist stuff. One day all the alchemists decide to take a break from work and instead throw a cantrip pretty. One alchemist waves his hand and produces confetti in front of him. Another spawns a seemingly endless number of doves from his sleeve. Then the alchemist turned to you to see what you can come up with. 
I'm going to go with a complex. You snap your fingers and, a, and you bring a chair to life. You sit atop of it and ride around the room. Everybody else is quite impressed. You gain two charm. Now, for the last week, I'm going to have him drink. You spend the entire week getting wasted. Yes! Two charm, one physique. One day, the tavern throws an annual dart tournament. I'll enter. You sign up for the dart tournament, ready to prove your darting throw, your dart throwing power, powers, powers, power, whatever. You play the best games of darts in your life and manage to come out on top. You win three wealth and gain con a confidence boost of charm two. The storm arrives in the night. By the morning, it still rages. For three full days, the tempest puts us through a grinder, drowns us, crushes us, ruins us. But then it ends. We see the a graveyard our homes has our home has become. Our home. Does anything yet live? Is it? Or are we past saving? So now I have to choose. You will be the conjurer. You take it upon yourself to conjure up supplies for the town. With your magic, you summon supplies of the highest caliber. With a little effort, you're summoning high-quality lumber and food from out of nowhere. This helps the rebuilding efforts significantly. And then... He will be the leader. You take it upon yourself to, to be the leader of the survivors. You expertly delegate and prior to prioritize tasks. You give motivational, you motivating speeches and act as an effective mediator in disputes. This helps the rebuilding efforts significantly. And so, we set about our task once more living our lives, this time in a way we might not ever expected, or ever even wanted. But in the end, we flourished. Towers were once wrecked and ravaged, rose towards the sky. Trees again took root and then blossomed. We all blossomed. And through it, we took a long while. And through it took... Uh, and though it took a lot of... A lot from us, our future is bright. Should the Yogg ever return, we will be ready. With the town fully rebuilt, you spend more and more time in the Alchemy Tower. Your potion brewing abilities quickly become among the best in the world. Your health and mana potions are considered world-class delicacies, with people venturing far and wide to buy them. But you never learn how to brew a love potion. Your life after the Og is uneventful. You work, you get married, you adopt a child, you take care of that child. You get old. You retire. Don't. You go on vacation for a few years. You get too old to be independent, so your child takes care of you. You die. That was happy. And then that's it. That's the end of the game. I just basically wanted to play a little bit of this. Um, so I might play more. Might try and get some other people to play with me. Sort of maybe on a... Uh, a live show or whatever um but for now that's it so thank you so very much for watching if you liked the video hit the like button while you're at it hit the subscribe button and as always be ready to game at a moment's notice Bye bye